and he hopes to get paid somewhere else. He's going to have that Super Bowl championship on his resume, so he'll still cash in. What is up, Bills Mafia? We have 264 days to go until the Buffalo Bills win Super Bowl 57, and this channel is going to document every single day leading up to that amazing moment with a video. So the Buffalo Bills are holding another session of OTAs, and there's a lot of cool stuff coming out of that. First of all, we get to see Von Miller in red, white, and blue. Oh yeah, this looks great. Look at this video here. Von Miller out there with the team, getting ready for his third Super Bowl run. Real psyched. I know he's gonna be helping out the young guys like Gregory Russo and Boogie Basham and anybody on that defensive line, he's gonna help them, no matter whether they're young or old. I mean, Von Miller is going to be just in the locker room, the perfect dude to have, and of course on the field. I do believe he has at least one more solid season left. As he said, the Bills are going to win the Super Bowl with or without him. But, I mean, with him in the lineup, come on now. Come on. Come on. It's awesome. But the big news coming out of OTAs, of course, is the fact that safety Jordan Poyer is not attending. And it's the second OTA session that he is not attending, declining to attend. And we all can speculate, and I think speculate accurately as to why he's not there. He wants to get paid, right? A lot of people have different opinions on whether or not the Bills should pony up the cash if they can. And like for me on a personal level, and I think you too on a personal level, is we like the guy. I mean, first of all, he had a really excellent, solid 2021 season. I think he had 93 tackles, three sacks, five interceptions, and he's a baller. And lined up with Micah Hyde, I mean, that tandem is, you just don't want to break that tandem up, right? So on the personal level, all of us are saying, pay that man his money. On a business side, Brandon Bean's got to weigh everything out, like where he's going to put the money into this lineup. Jordan Poyer is north of 30 now, still playing at a high level, but if the Bills don't pay him and Poyer plays out his contract, you know, I don't think that's a bad deal for the Bills. You get him for his Super Bowl run and, you know, he gets paid somewhere else next year. And, you know, that would be good, good for him too. Now, of course, the question is, could he hold out? And that is the one thing we don't want to happen. But I don't think you pay the dude from a business sense by the mere fact that you're afraid that he's gonna hold out. I don't think he would. I think that would really be a poor choice on his side. And, and I just can't see that happening. We certainly don't want something like that disrupting the team, the team chemistry. You don't want any of that heading into the, your championship Super Bowl year. So, you know, does Brandon Bean work out a deal with Poyer before the season starts? I personally think there's a better chance that he will than he won't. The question is, will Poyer get the type of money that he's looking for? And I don't know, I don't know. What, what do you pay a player of that magnitude? I mean, older, but still very productive, a huge contributor on the defense. It's, it's a toss up on which way you go with this whole situation. Let's just say he did hold out, right? I mean, you go out and you get another safety. And I don't think there's a, that much of a drop-off on the defensive side of the ball without Poyer in there. I, there is a drop-off. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it, it could equate to a one more loss than a win for the 2022 season. I don't think this team's not winning the Super Bowl if Jordan Poyer isn't in the lineup. But again, I do not think in any way Jordan Poyer is not going to play for the Bills if he doesn't get a contract. I think he plays out his last year on the contract and he hopes to get paid somewhere else. He's going to have that Super Bowl championship on his resume, so he'll still cash in. He'll still cash in. So again, on the personal side, pay the man. Love Poyer. Everybody loves Poyer. He deserves to get paid. And on the business side, you might want to just, you know, let the guy play out his contract and let him get paid somewhere else. Sure, the talks are going on, lots of things happening, but Jordan Poirier, not at OTAs, not an uncommon thing to see. 
and it's, they're all voluntary, and it may not have anything to do with this contract. He might just be taking advantage of this great Buffalo weather and doing a little golfing. Who knows? That's what I'm doing later tonight. Going to hit some balls into the woods and the sand traps and the, and the lakes and the trees. Can't wait. See you tomorrow.